Just a quick message before we get into the video, courtesy of my sponsor Controller Mods. Just over on Twitter right now, we are giving away a custom controller, absolutely epic. Check out my Twitter which is linked in the video description for more details. What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you my top 10 favourite shaders from the Destiny universe. But before we get into the video, to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on this video and tell me in that comments section what your favourite shader is. Winner will be picked in a few days via the YouTube direct messages so keep an eye on your inboxes. Okay, so getting into my top 10 favorite shaders. Now this was gonna be a top five, but going through what's on offer, there are so many epic ones, it was real hard to narrow them down to even 10. And I also think as well this list may surprise some of you, as I do kind of have a weird taste, but getting straight into it, in at number 10, we have Prayer of Nepal. With its red, blue and white look, it does stand out a lot on all sorts of different armors. Prayer of Nepal is a legendary shader and it was obtained via donating to Nepal Earthquake through Bungie. I'm not sure if you can still get it though. In at number 9, we have Gilgamesh. This shade of being dark blue, orange and a tint of white looks fantastic on a lot of different armours but also looks pretty bad on certain other armours. It is acquired for ranking up the Cryptarch and a few other sources. Well it used to be, I'm not sure if it's still in his loot pool. At 8 we have Mercurial Dawn. This shade offering browns and dark oranges, yes it's a weird one but it does kind of stand out. Plus rarely anyone wears it which is another bonus. I do believe it's obtained via reaching a rank 40 or a level 40 on your titan. I however could be mistaken and feel free to correct me in that comments section. At 7 we have Achilles. This shade of being orange, white and dark blue is one I have had for ages. Obtained I believe via the Cryptarch and ranking at more full up. It looks epic on gear such as the Hunter's Crosses and Raid gear and many others. At 6 we have Lunar Elegy. This one being blue and almost a blood orange looks amazing on almost every armor in the game. It truly stands out. This one again is obtained I believe via the Cryptarch and ranking him up. At 5 we have Frostfire, this one being purpley blue and red is one of my favourites of all time and I could really have moved it up in the list a few spots. This shader is forever in at least one of my character's inventories so I never forget about it because I do kind of do that a lot. This I believe also comes from the Cryptarch and maybe a few other places. You just don't see them drop anymore like many of the other shaders I have featured. At 4 we have Aura's Passage, I mean it's black and gold, need I say more, it looks stunning on almost every armour I've put it on. Yeah for sure, some people hate gold, think it's cheesy, I think it looks badass. This is obtained from the Trials of Osiris, I'm not sure if it's still available in year 3 though, but I'm sure someone in that comment section will tell you if you're wondering. At 3 we have Amothea, just look at this thing, incredible, the bright whites and the shocking reds just look amazing. There is no denying New Monarchy offer the best shaders out of all the factions we have in the game and this one being the best faction shader in my opinion. Yes, it drops from a New Monarchy package if you're still wondering. At 2 we have God of War. Simply red, red, red. But a fan favourite to so many people, me included. It's just fucking epic looking no matter what armour you apply it to. Again though, this one is hard to come by. According to Destiny Wikipedia, this thing drops from the Cryptarch via packages, also from PvP and a few other sources. I haven't seen this thing drop though in ages. I'm a rank 200 plus on my Hunter and I at least haven't seen it drop for 150 ranks on my Hunter for damn sure. So whether or not this thing's still in the loot pool, I have no idea. But at number one and my favorite shader of all time is Sunsetting. Yes, Sunsetting is my favorite shader within this game. Not only does it look great on certain armors, but it looks incredible on my Hunter's Days of Iron Lord armor, which is my favorite in the game. 
It matches so well with the fire ornaments due to it being black and that orange kind of flame camouflage. It just looks absolutely amazing. But yes guys, they are my top 10 favourite shaders within the game. At this list, which is your favourite? Let me know down below in that comment section. But guys, that is it for another video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Will carry on We never get it right